a look at element styles, which are a new feature of the 2014 release of Wonderware's system platform. Element styles can help you apply consistency and standards throughout your applications and your symbols. You can access element styles in the symbol editor or the Orchestra canvas. To apply an element style, we'll use this drop down menu. Clicking this, we see a list of all the predefined ready to use element styles that are defined globally and will be applied consistency where you choose them. You'll also notice that there are several user defined styles for you to define and you won't have to worry about them being overridden in later updates. To apply an element style is easy. Just click the part of your symbol you want to apply it to, go to the drop down menu, and click the style you want to use. Instantly it's applied. This is very similar to using the format paintbrush or the styles that you might have seen in Microsoft Word. Now let's look at applying more consistency to this symbol. Here we have three headings. Each of them has a different font and a different formatting and different sizes. We can make them consistent not by changing every font and size and format, but by applying the same element style to each of them and we'll use the heading style. So I'll click my first heading and apply the heading style. You can also select multiple and apply the same style. Now they're starting to look consistent. Here's an example with tags. They even have different colors as well as different sizes and different fonts. We'll select all three of them and apply the tag name element style. There's also an engineering unit element style. As you can see, I'm easily making things consistent. And imagine if multiple people were working on different symbols to be used in the same application or the same project. They no longer have to remember that a tag is supposed to be bold or this size font. They all just have to be working in the same galaxy and using the element style library. You can also use element styles for colors. Here's a part of my symbol that say I want it to look active. I can apply an active style. I can also apply not running styles. You can also use it for alarming. And let's say you're doing a process diagram. There's a style for primary and secondary process lines. Here's primary. Let's say this is a secondary process line. So now even my lines can be consistent. You'll also find in 2014 that there's an added animation for element styles. Here I can click a part of my symbol, add an animation to it. I have the option for element style. I can use a Boolean or a truth table. And basically I could tie this to an alarm tag, for example. And when the alarm tag was on, I want to use a certain style. And when it's off, I want to use a different one. This will dynamically change the animation and the look of the style. Remember that a useful feature of the element styles is that they're configured. They're configured globally, which we can see in the Galaxy Configure Galaxy Style Library. Here we'll go to the second tab called Element Styles and we'll see all the same styles that we saw in the drop down menu. When you click on them, you'll get a preview of what they look like on the right side. Let's say we now want all our tags to appear red. I'll click on my color, go to red, say OK. This is also where you will find the user defined styles and you can click on them and start setting your colors and fonts or whatever you want to define for that style. Just in case you save something that you didn't mean to, you have the ability to go back one by one and select reset to default. You can also select as many as all of them and reset to default. So don't worry, there is an undo button. For now, I'll save the changes that I made by hitting OK. And when I go back to edit my symbol, I notice that all my elements that had the tag name applied to them are now red. See, they're all still tied to tag name. It's also worthwhile to note that Galaxy styles are good for working on projects with integrators. 
As a user, you can define your Galaxy Style library in the Configure Galaxy Style menu as we saw. And then you have the option to export your Galaxy Style library. You can then save that file and send it to your integrator who's using 2014 and they have the option to import the Galaxy Style library which will overwrite the styles seen here. Then they'll be using the set of standards that you define on the project working with you. So that's a preview of using element styles in 2014. Enjoy trying it out.